Hello and welcome again guys So today we are going to explore another tutorial to how to create a search bar So we are going to create a search bar and uh, the theme for this project is going to be Pokemon So what we are going to do, we are going to create this uh, bar and we are going to actively looking for Pokemons from the first generation and for example if I tag Sha we have uh, all the Pokemon Charmander, Chameleon, Charizard and uh, if we want to look to Squirtle it's here Bulbasaur, if you start with Boo you have Bulbasaur, Butterfree, Electrobus, Kabuto even like Kadabra and Pikachu if we say Pikachu okay so this is, all, this is what we are going to do we are going to use for this the Poké API, so we are going to retrieve data externally and uh, we also are going to okay, to create a component just for the search bar yes, you see it's going to be very fun so without further delay, let's go so to start this project we are going to open and to create a new RAD project you just have to tap this command npm cream v latest and we are using the uh, React and Pilot. So, what we are going to name this is going to be Poke Search. This name of the project. Okay, so I have just created now a new file directory in um, the desktop. So let's do this. So we are going to cd to this. So we are on this directory right now. As you can see by the ls. So just follow the instructions above npm install. <coughs> so this is installing. And it's still installing. Now that uh, it's installed, npm is installed. Well, let's do code dot. So to open the VS Code terminal. So we are going to have access to this project. So here in the terminal let's do npm run dev and we are going to start our new server server is going to be to install in the port 5173 okay so our react app it's working the, so what you have to do is to clean this clean clean and also clean yeah we don't want any of these, so not a state. Maybe we can later use states. I think this can be useful. So here, let's do an H1 project. Okay, so yes, there is our app is set up. So now that we have the project set up, we have to decide about the styling. So the styling we are using, the, we are going to use Tailwind CSS, and we are also going to learn not to install Tailwind CSS with the CDN, which is going to be very easy. So as you see now, we have uh, like here the project. So what you have to do, you have to add the script in uh, your HTML index dot uh, HTML page and you can see we are in the Tailwind docs so uh, it's coming here and we just have to add this here and it's refreshing and we are good to go so Tailwind CSS is not is uh, now active so let's also do one thing I want uh, this project to also look good in small device and it is going to be a way that we code along and uh, we see what's happening so I'm going to open the okay the server here was five one seven three and Okay, this is good. So, if you want to be clear, the Tailwind it's running smoothly. So, we come here, MD4, uh, and we do here a PG Red 
200 and yeah Tailwind it's working fine there is only one problem here it's using Tailwind without IntelliSense it's not good as you see we don't have like the over we don't have the <coughs> uh, the recommendations so even if my Tailwind IntelliSense extension it's uh, enabled nothing is working so to fix this uh, this is also to fix this using the CDN what you have to do is to add the Tailwind config.js file because the problem is Tailwind is not uh, retrieving any settings so the IntelliSense cannot work properly so what was the name tailwind.com config.js I think that that's one and uh, yep so now okay it's working we have the over working again if we do here bg okay we have another one so there is a conflict now but uh, everything it's working correctly so text excel yeah so okay so we have the styling set up we have everything set up so let's do this so to start let's going to create like the main page here so for this what we want it's uh, create a container that's going to be flex colon and we're going to put the item center and bg blue 300 and h screen so okay this is here this is what it looks like and here i remove this and we have to wrap the div inside our project so our project like this it's going to be here nicely on uh, the middle so what i want to do is to add uh, the logo so for this we are going to remove this we are going to add a div with the class of my8 so it's going to be to ram above and below so one of a quick rule to know tailwind it's uh, each number four it's one ram the multiples are four are uh, one ram for example and my four is going to be uh, margin top and bottom from one ram Margin gate is going to be uh, 2 RAM, margin 12 it's going also to be 3 RAM and uh, you already got this. So for the image <coughs> I'm going to use uh, this image here so it is going to be the source and uh, as you can just like look from Pokemon log and you see like uh, nice logos that you can use I think that one that I used is that one but again this is uh, you can also look for the code after in the okay don't forget the alt it's important even if you're not using uh, this now uh, yes you can uh, search for this in the source code that's going to be available in the, in the description so for the class name uh, you see it's uh, way too big so that's going we are going to add the a width for this it's going to be 400 pixels i think looks good here and uh, here too but let's do like this so in the small screens or better above the small screens we are going to uh, say 600 pixels so 600 so it's going to be 400 in small screens in fonts and a little bigger in tablets and uh, in laptops okay so this is the pokemon now we have to finally start to create the navbar components so let's create a new folder name components yeah right and let's create here 
search bar dot gsx and uh, let's do this okay so let's import now the search bar okay so you just have to copy this component and uh, what i want here it's what this okay fine so we have like uh, the search bar here working properly not the search bar but the search text so the component you have to do like this uh, okay so next step let's do the search bar so for the search bar let's recap again what we need to do we have to find a way to retrieve information from the pokemon from the poke api we have to add an input bar and when we tap we have to record the query that you are making in the search bar and uh, we have to find a way to actively looking and filtering the uh, pokemon database of uh, from the names so we are going we are going only to retrieve the names that uh, we want so okay so let's do this first of all let's come here in the search bar let's make this a fragment and uh, okay so for this i want to do an h1 that's going to be search pokemon and uh, for this and below it let's make a div and i want add the navbar the input so but i also want to add an item uh, item and uh, the input so it's going to be uh, icon and here it's going to be the input so for the input what you want you want a placeholder that's going to be search here and for the class let's uh, say ml to test lg with full and uh, i want to make it a nice focus or better to remove the outline here so okay but uh, for this what we want to do okay let's start to also style the container so the container we want that to be flex and actually i think it's better to add icons so you can see how the styling is going to work so to install the icons you have to do npm react icons so we're installing the icons and the icon that you are going to import is the is the loop is uh, this one so we are going to import for the react icons library so for example if you do this this will like work like a component and we have here the loop so for this we just have just have to go react icons and uh, in react icons not not here not here here you look for the icons that you want for example search and yes you have all the loops that you can choose okay but here what you want is is flex so the bg went is white we went a border border black and uh, for this we went uh, this to look to have a width 
Okay, this is this year the wheat is looking fine, but uh, here we want more wheat in bigger screens. So for this we do wheat and we add our custom value. It's going to be 800 pixels. Okay, so this is looking fine. So what uh, we want more here, so to make more beautiful, let's put rounded medium and uh, okay for now it's looking good so next thing so okay and as you saw with the flex we are going to have like the loop here inside uh, our container so next like style a little bit the image so let's put a margin left of four and uh, let's also add a tag let's also make this bigger so yeah that one it's looking cool and let's also increase a little bit the width for the small screen okay that's it let's also style here this search pokemon so class name is going to be text to excel and we are going to put like the font bold margin bottom of two and what do we want more okay the text is center so i think it's good this way here i think it's a little too short so it's also here a padding of one ram in each side okay now it's looking good so we have the styling the styling is the it we are going not to touch or we are not going to touch much more on the styling let's now do the functionality so for the functionality let's install the axios so to make the request so you do npm axios while this is installing let's go to the poke api so you just have to search like the Poké API, you have like the versions and uh, you receive the documentation with all the features that you can use. So this is like the API and you have like all the endpoints that uh, you can use. And uh, yes, you can retrieve here a lot of information. You can retrieve like evolution, games, items, locations, a lot of things. In our case, I already did that search before. We are going to look in uh, in uh, on here. So for example, if you come here, what we are going to do, we are looking for all the Pokemon. We are going to limit to the... Uh, 151 so what this means the pokemons are numbered like uh, uh, from one to infinite and uh, they are numbered from the time that they appeared so the first generation has 151 pokemons so to get all the pokemons from the first generation we just need to search for all the pokemons and uh, the limit is going to be 151 so you can see we have all the Pokemon from Dagonir to Dragonite, Mewtwo and Mew. For example, this is a way I, there is other way to use that API. But if you see, if I put like 158 uh, Pokemon, I have uh, the Totodile, the Cyndaquil. Or in another way, I have like the Pokemon for uh, the from the second generation also. Since so we are we are looking from the first generation, we are just putting the 150 on. And this is a way, if you want just to add more generations, you increase that limit or you are going to search for another endpoint. So what you want to do first is to uh, make this, uh, this, to make uh, this form, not a form, but uh, I want to get the value of the query. So let's say, let's search query, set search, Query and here we are going to use use state that we have to import here and uh, use state is going to be initial to none. So what I want 
to do here now is to add the value in the input <coughs> so the value is going to be search query and uh, what we want to do we want to do uh, the function one change so when we change this we want to do set the search query is going to be the value that is type so this is e dot target dot value and uh, for you guys to see that it's working so let's add here the search query and let's do the typing so let's do a quick refresh see if everything is working fine and it's not working so let's check this ah so this is value okay so this is working fine there is just one thing that the query that i'm typing it's here but let put here below so you can see better okay sh charizard and uh, we have this actually the first pokemon that i play it was uh, pokemon red so when i was uh, very, very little kid and uh, yes of course if you use pokemon if you play with pokemon red use the charmander as your starter and I enjoyed a lot played pokemon uh, at that time so let's keep going so what you want to do now it's to fetch the pokemon data so what we want to do we are going to create a place in another way a variable a list where you are going to store the information so we are going to use your state to create an empty list that's going to be your recipient for our pokemons after and uh, okay Let's create here const fetch Pokemon. It's going to be equal to a sync because we are using a promise to get information. And uh, for this, so we are going to use the try catch block. So if uh, something goes wrong, we just console error log error the error and uh, yeah this is good so what we are going to do first we create here a response so our concept is going to be the response and we are going to do await axios dot get and with that get let's get the information from our Poké API so it's going to be this one and for you guys to see that everything is working let's first store the results of the response so first gen Pokemon is going to be equal to response dot data dot result but let's do this lock the response and uh, okay for us to retrieve let's use the use effect so to our use effect we are going to trigger or fetch pokemon function so now there it is and you have to add this the dependency to only run one time okay so i think we are able to log the response so let's check that let's do a quick uh, refresh and uh, axios is not defined of course we have not import axios import axios from axios and uh, let's do this again
okay so we have like year to date you have like the status 200 so we come here as you see we, we come here to the date we have the results and in the results you have like all the objects of the pokemons we have the name of the pokemon and uh, also the url of uh, the information for the pokemon oh, actually it was supposed to be like this okay it is going to to retrieve the pokemon which is cool we can uh, this is this wow this is very cool this is a this is a, a lot of information about uh, the pokemon hmm maybe we can use that to do a pokedex in the future i don't know uh, yes uh, tell me what you think about that but yeah let's finish the search bar this is the what you can hear it was because the search bar so okay so we have now the result so now let's isolate the names so let's do poke names going to be first gen uh, pokemon so we're going to map for uh, each object that uh, we got we want the the name of this so this is going to be like uh, a list with all the pokemon names and uh, let's do the console log i do a lot of logs because i want that you guys and uh, also me i want like to understand what we are doing and uh, where the information comes from and uh, yes now we put every name in the list so this is on this is uh, what uh, what he what we did so for example if now you think that we have to do is to set pokemon list equal to pokemon names we are going to retrieve the information we are going to have the list of all the pokemons and uh, this will be a good thing but since we are doing a search bar i want like to query the information in uh, the api each time like we type uh, here something so each time that we care query a pokemon so for this let's do this so if there is a query what we are going to do we are going to actually to const poke names okay so i'm going to filtering the data that we receive so from the list that we have the pokemon names we are going to pokemon names filter and uh, in the filter it's like for each pokemon that uh, exists in uh, the pokemon list you want the pokemon to lower case and let's put this here so we can see better that uh, includes the search query and to lowercase the only thing that we are doing the lowercase is to avoid for example if you type like pikachu it's not case sensitive and you are going to look for the same information so good so what this is does this function it uh, the, this filter function this returns true if uh, when you type here a query if uh, any substring for example we have like pikachu but if you have like a substring like shu or or ka but if you have like shu this is like a substring of the pikachu and since the shoe substring is included in the pikachu we are going to return the the pikachu okay so now we have filtering the only thing that you have to do is to set our pokemon leaks already with uh, the query so it's going to be poke lister poke names filter and uh, what we want to do if we do for example log pokename list filter 
let's refresh this again and Pokemon name shield tree is not defined so Poké name filter yeah. okay the name is correct but uh, it should be inside the if block so if you put like this it's going to work because what we want here in the else if there is no a uh, search uh, query we want uh, our list to remain empty and uh, now let's try again let's do a refresh and now let's do here p k okay this is not working because it's a thing that you have to add now so this is only fetching uh, as you know this effect when you have like uh, the dependence like this this is only fetching um, when the page is loaded so when the that component is loaded so to fetch every time that uh, we type something we have to add a dependency and dependency it's going to be our search query it means each time that our search query is going to be re-rendered or each time that we change this we are going to query this function again and retrieve the information so let's name here pikachu and again we have like some problem pokemon to lower case is not a function so let's check that and i think this was just a typo okay okay P. what again Okay, now we are returning false, and again we have like here another type, so this should not like be here. Should well, should I close the parentheses here? So now I think it's everything said. So let's do like here Pikachu. Okay, we're returning here the Pikachu, the Shards. We are having the Charmin, the Charmin, the Charizard. Okay, so everything it's working good. So we are filtering the information. Now, the only thing that uh, it remains us to do is to, since we click, it's to display all the information here below. So let's do this. So all the information is here stored on the Pokemon list. Uh, so we don't need here the console anymore. We know that uh, this is working. And uh, let's go here again and on our gsx return and here below our input let's uh, not this let's go if there is items in the pokemon list so if this is true what we want is uh, here a div okay we want a div and on this div we want to display the pokemon's uh, information that we retrieved so it's going to be pokemon list dot uh, map and in the map we went here the pokemon and the index so on here what we want it's a paragrapher that's going to be the key we have to add a key so we could add normal key but let's add the index here so for each information i want the pokemon okay and this is do i just uh, remove the search query we know that's working don't need anymore and let's test okay it is working fine so as you can see why well, when i query i retrieve the <laughs> i retrieve all the things that start like p catch you volpix and uh, 
Charizard. Okay, so this is working fine. So, but now let's style this a little bit better. So, for the styling, I want all information to display in a list here below. So, what are we going to do? Let's start by styling the div. So, let's say here BG white text black width. We want the full width. The Z index 10 because of why because we want to put this like position absolute so we want to have like the list to display right here below this container so we are doing position absolute 12 14 to add like some uh, padding and uh, let's also put here rounded md max height of 40 which means like 10 rem and uh, let's stay here an overflow the y auto so we can like display so let's test how oh, it's going to do okay not uh, the prettiest at the moment this is doing this because we have to have like uh, this container with position relative and if you do this okay so now it's uh, working fine so it's almost done so now if you come here okay we have like the pikachu we have everything here so there is only one thing that uh, we miss now and uh, it's styling here the paragrapher so let's do this too make more readable okay so for our paragrapher it's like too close so i went go from the beginning a padding left of one ram and uh, let's make a beautiful over effect so it's going to be bg yellow 300 and Something is wrong. Okay, it was not in the over. So now it's uh, in the over, so BGL 300. And to finish, let's put cursor pointer. It's not cursor, on, it's cursor pointer. So that's it okay finally we have done this so okay this is the pokemon pikachu okay so this is looks nice so that's it guys this is all we do uh search bar so we are to summary that what we did so we create that search bar component we just made some styling we after retrieve that information in uh, the fetch pokemon we create like a custom function that is filtering that uh, information each time that we type here and that's basically this guys this is what we do a uh, search bar so i want uh, only for you to give me something when i was doing this project now i re i got idea that maybe it's good that we can do a pokedex from it so we have like to search the Pokemon and uh, what can we do after if uh, we click here for example we are going to go to another page with all that information of the Pokemon so for example if you see Bulbasaur we will click here and we will go to another page with all the information yeah I think this will be like a nice project because it will involve Rotterdam and uh, more API and other cool things so if you want me to do that project uh, say something in the comments it's uh, going to help me to know if you want to understand this so that's it guys if you like uh, that video and you think it was value like share and uh, subscribe 
and see you in the next one.